When we got to Fiji, it didn't take five minutes to reconnect with Rusi. Howard made me smile again. I saw some white spuds. Michelle and I were eager to help Rusi, but first we had to pay our respects to local tradition. Before outsiders can dive at my home island, the elders must grant permission. My people have always limited fishing. This tradition of reef conservation has worked well for centuries till now. First, I wanted Howard to see my village reef as it used to be. The reef looked great with plenty of small fish, but we didn't see nearly as many big fish as we did in Australia. And that worried me. The time had come. I took Howard and Michelle further down the reef. I wondered where all the animals had gone. These reefs are dying. It all just makes me really sad. Seeing so much of this reef destroyed, we realize that Rusi's reef may be what all coral reefs look like in 30 years. Our reef used to be home to so many creatures, but now they're almost all gone. After seeing all the destruction, though, I saw an octopus. Octopus make like a tent with their body. They put out their eight arms and actually trap shrimps and crab that live on the reef. He had obviously figured out how to survive. Not many reef dwellers are able to do that. For islanders who survive by fishing, the death of the reef has really hit us hard, especially when you have children to feed. But what killed Rusi's reef? Foreign fishing fleets have overfished these waters. And thermometers tell us that the ocean is two degrees warmer than normal. I found more bleached coral and no big fish. But I had a hunch that ocean warming and overfishing were not the only problems. Ten miles inland, when tropical rainforests were cut down, the river turned muddy with silt. Two rivers merge, one with logging upstream, one without. There's only one place for all that sediment to go. At the mouth of the river, silt blocked the sunlight that the coral needs for growth. Rusi's reef had been hit by a combination of stresses. Ocean warming, overfishing, and siltation. Corals may fight off one threat, but three at once proved too much. Now I understood the problem better, but what could I do? Howard thought a healthy reef might give us some answers. We set course for another island. There we joined up with John Michel Cousteau, who's the son of the legendary explorer. 
jean-michel comes to fiji every year to help marine biologists like marie joal rodriguez monitor coral reefs we guided howard and michel to a nearby reef where siltation is not a problem thanks to mangrove trees their roots trap silt protecting the reefs Many fish use mangroves as a nursery to protect the young. My fellow Fijians have set aside these beneficial mangroves as part of a marine preserve, making the reef offshore a wonderland, healthy, beautiful, and strong. This is the way I want my reef to be. Tropical coral reefs are found worldwide. Fiji is the soft coral capital of the world.